in the kaleidoscopic whirlwind of the streaming cosmos, Arden Ross, the digital maestro of unscripted narratives, orchestrates a riveting symphony as he reacts to the whimsical suggestion of a pugilistic showdown between Abba and the hosts of the Fresh and Fit podcast. Happy Yom Kippur, do y'all know what that means? No, bro. We should ask uh, Aiden Ross to uh, in fact, moderate the fight between yeah. you and Abba. Yeah, yeah, I, I, like... Between him and who? Aiden Ross, set it up, man. Yeah, yo, set it up. Aiden Ross, set, set it up, up bro. Set it up for Club Chaser anyway. I will absolutely be... Y'all want to see him fight whoever he's talking about? A, a babby? Abba. Yo, ABZ is he talking about? Yeah, ABZ, you're going to get knocked up. Ow. Who's he talking about, chat? Send me the guys real quick. Get the fuck out. For free, you don't gotta pay me. Shit. Yo, tag it in. Oh, the out of him for. Free. Well, nah. I mean, we'll, let's do it for charity then. Hold on a second. Who, who's the guy? Chat. Someone, please send me a link, please. Free. Yo, Aiden, we need your help, bro. I'm. Do let's do it. We could do it. We could do it this week. Um, I'll be uh, and preach. Let me see if I ever seen him. Have a peach. Uh, Honestly, I don't know. I don't know who he is. Is it this guy? Dude, they literally look like brothers. Oh, God. I'm not trying to be weird. I'm going to make this weird, but you can't tell me these guys don't look like brothers. Am I tripping? He's a liberal. It's like I was wearing the shirt like joy in ways that didn't really seem very evident at first. So rather than being like ultimately present, even through some of the more awkward parts, immediately, if anything felt uneasy. I well, yo, if, uh, Abba, if you want to box, I don't think he's going to do it. I know Myron would probably do it. If you want to box, um, let me know. We can set that up, bro. Yo, get in contact with him, Citrus. He's Destiny's friend. Jesus Christ. The virtual arena pulsating with chat messages akin to digital gladiators unleashing their fervor, beckons Arden into the labyrinth of confusion and intrigue. Arden's initial foray into the enigma of Abba reveals a comedic dance of mispronunciations, as he jovially christens him ABC. The initial confusion transforms into a jesting dismissal, as Arden, with the nonchalance befitting a digital maestro, claims an easy triumph in the hypothetical fisticuffs. The air thickens with humor, setting the stage for a Bantaladin journey through the maze of this virtual spectacle. As Adin and his legion of viewers toy with the tantalizing prospect of a pugilistic odyssey for charity, the atmosphere adopts a playful hue. The notion of a clash of titans becomes a canvas for speculation and anticipation. Adin, the master puppeteer of his digital domain, pulls the strings of curiosity, urging his chat to furnish more details and links about the elusive Abba, a figure obscured in the shadows of unfamiliarity. In the midst of this whimsical discussion, Arden's curiosity takes a detour into the realm of aesthetics. He playfully contemplates the possibility of Abba resembling his friend Preach, painting a mental portrait of a brotherhood forged in the digital tapestry. The light-hearted banter, Infused with Arden's trademark charm, adds a layer of camaraderie to the unfolding narrative, a camaraderie that transcends the boundaries of pixels and screens. Amidst the jest and jocularity, Arden, the astute conversationalist, stumbles upon a morsel of information, Abba's political inclination. The revelation that Abba is a liberal becomes a fleeting interlude, a momentary divergence in the banter. Arden, with the dexterity of a verbal acrobat, sinks into a brief discourse about his own shirt, a playful dance that weaves the mundane into the fabric of the whimsical. The mention of Myron, Arden's compatriot from the Fresh and Fit podcast, becomes a pivot in the digital tango. Arden speculates on Myron's potential interest in the pugilistic spectacle, leaving the door ajar for a serendipitous alignment of stars that could culminate in a spectacle that transcends the confines of the virtual stage. As the curtains fall on the chat fuel drama, Adin, the sage of the streaming realm, continues his digital sojourn. The outcome of the proposed fistic encounter remains suspended in the virtual ether, a tantalizing enigma that lingers like the fading echoes of a digital reverie. Adin, with the flair of a digital alchemist, steers his stream into uncharted waters, leaving his audience in suspense, 
a testament to the unpredictable nature of the streaming cosmos. In this whimsical dance through the corridors of hypothetical pugilism, Arden Ross emerges not merely as a streamer but as a ringmaster, orchestrating a digital circus that transcends the boundaries of banter. The uncertainty surrounding the proposed bout becomes a metaphorical cliffhanger, an invitation for viewers to stay tuned, for the digital saga to unfold in ways only the enigmatic realm of streaming can unveil. To enrich the narrative further, we could explore the potential dynamics between Abba and the hosts of the Fresh and Fit podcast. Speculating on how their personalities might clash or align, and considering the implications for the hypothetical fight, could add depth to the essay. Additionally, delving into the broader cultural significance of such online clashes and their impact on streaming culture could provide broader context for the reader. In the hypothetical clash between Abba and the hosts of the Fresh and Fit podcast, the dynamics would undoubtedly be shaped by the interplay of personalities, political leanings, and the light-hearted banter that has characterized Arden's initial reaction. The fusion of these elements creates a speculative tapestry, woven with threads of digital drama and potential consequences. Abba's known liberal political leaning introduces an intriguing dimension to the prospective confrontation. In the realm of online discourse, political ideologies can act as virtual battlegrounds, sparking heated exchanges. If Abba and Aden were to engage in a physical bout, the clash might transcend mere physicality, evolving into a symbolic representation of ideological differences. The fight could become a metaphorical sparring ground, each punch echoing the broader ideological clashes witnessed in the digital arena. Arden's playful dismissal, on the other hand, introduces an element of jest and camaraderie into the mix. His initial reaction, characterized by humor and a seemingly carefree attitude, might set the tone for a less confrontational encounter. The clash, if it were to unfold, might be infused with a sense of friendly competition, akin to a digital gladiatorial exhibition rather than a serious dispute. Arden's dismissive approach could pave the way for a light-hearted affair, where the primary goal is entertainment rather than settling ideological scores. The aftermath of such a clash could be multifaceted. If the event were organized for charity, the positive impact on the chosen cause could overshadow any ideological differences. The online community might rally behind the spectacle, turning it into a unifying force rather than a divisive one. Viewers could appreciate the event for its entertainment value, creating a digital space where political affiliations take a back seat to the shared enjoyment of the spectacle. Alternatively, the clash might catalyze broader discussions about the role of political differences in online interactions. The aftermath could become a platform for discourse, prompting creators and viewers alike to reflect on the intersection of politics and entertainment in the digital realm. The fallout might extend beyond the virtual stage, influencing how online personalities navigate and engage with ideological differences in the future. In the speculative landscape of this hypothetical clash, the dynamics would be shaped by a delicate dance between political undertones, playful banter, and the overarching theme of entertainment. The clash could either reinforce ideological divisions or serve as a catalyst for unity, depending on the manner in which the participants and the online community choose to interpret and engage with the spectacle. As the digital drama unfolds, the hypothetical clash becomes a canvas upon which the intricate tapestry of online interactions is painted, leaving room for surprise, reflection, and potentially a redefinition of the boundaries between entertainment and ideology.